My uh, father was actually working in Sri Lanka. Um, he went there after the Second World War and uh, my uncle was there at the time. And he thought it was such a great place that uh, he eventually brought my mother over and I was, I was born there in 1954. So I, I grew up in Sri Lanka, learned to swim there and spent many, many a happy year there. I think because I was swimming from a very, very young age and because we spent a lot of time at the swimming club, I couldn't but become a good swimmer. If it was up to me, I would have stayed in Sri Lanka or Colombo. Um, you know, my father being a Scot and my mother being Scottish, you know, it was you know, going to be a Scottish education for my sister and I, so we were sent back to this country. We used to go and have swimming down at a place called Drumshook Baths, and that's for the school pool. And there was a pool attendant that looked at this wee lad called Wilkie, and he talked to my coach, a guy called Frank Thomas, and said, Frank, we've got a good little swimmer here. You might come and have a look at him. So Frank came down, and my father was in town at the time. He said, would David like to become a member of Warren de Bass Club? I've done a few thousand laps of this pool, I can tell you. I mean, I remember when there was about 25 swimmers swimming up and down here. It was like swimming in a harbour, it was that rough. But uh, yeah, some bittersweet memories, you know, good memories and some tough memories because invariably the pool was freezing cold, but um, we were tough swimmers in those days. We could, we could handle that. It was a pool that was built at the turn of the century. Um, they had nylon lane ropes that divided the lanes. The whole thing was a Victorian bath. And I began to train a little bit harder and, you know, push myself a little bit more. And then I was picked for the Scottish team to swim in the Commonwealth Games in 70 and won a bronze medal. A chance perhaps for a home medal here in David Wilkie. I should have felt a lot more nervous than I did. I think my coach said I, it looked like I was reading a comic behind the blocks, but I don't think that's actually true. Wilkie has made such astonishing progress recently. There were 2,000 people here, you know, in 1970. So you can imagine the atmosphere in what isn't a huge building and a young guy swimming his four lengths in his first real major international competition. Had it not been in Edinburgh, I probably wouldn't have got the bronze medal. It will keep coming as hard as he can. I don't think he can snatch second. It's going to be Mahoney, Jarvie going hard on this side, and Wilkie third. I suppose the bronze really was the sort of the, the, the catalyst of the rest of my, my swimming career. I'd had a silver in, in 1972 at the Olympics. Um, and I was determined to get, you know, at least one gold medal. It was 76 at games. My main event, the tournament, is breaststroke. I trained so, so hard for it. It was a joy to win. It really was. David Wilkie is absolutely superb. Look at him go. And it's Wilkie. And it's a new world record for Great Britain and David Wilkie. What a swim. The gold medal for the 200 metres breaststroke in Montreal, 1976. And the wearer, Britain's David Wilkie. David, you must be a very happy man. Oh, very, very happy indeed, Alan. I'm glad that the hard work I put in after the last two years has finally paid off, and uh, I'm a very, very proud wearer of this medal. I was amazed at the response I got. When I went up to Aberdeen, you know, the, 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 the traffic stopped. You know, I couldn't believe it. Winning that medal really was quite, quite, quite special.